magic carpet has sprouted wings. Modern transportation now enables us to reach lands once far distant, but still rich in historic lore, romance, and holiday fun. Within a few short hours by clipper from the American mainland, islands of tropical beauty dot the Sapphire Caribbean Sea, where lusty buccaneers once sailed the Spanish main and lived their fabulous lives. Puerto Rico was discovered by Columbus in 1493. A Spanish colony for centuries, it was ceded to the United States in 1898. Surrounding San Juan's rugged ruins are many reminders of her dramatic past. In 1595, it was unsuccessfully stormed by the English fleet under Sir Francis Drake, and for over 200 years repulsed sieges by the English, Dutch, and pirates. Even the little stories still linger, such as the one about the Devil's Sentry Box, where every sentry mysteriously disappeared, leaving only his uniform and a strong odor of brimstone. San Juan today is a city of modern buildings, colleges, and luxurious hotels, steeped in the atmosphere of old Spain. It's a short hop to the Virgin Islands. Across the bay from St. Thomas, Bluebeard's tower looks down from the hill. Bluebeard, the pirate who captured golden treasure and women's hearts. Seven wives he killed, and some he buried in the patio. Long a pirate's paradise and a colony of Denmark, the Virgin Islands were purchased by the United States in 1917 for $25 million. Another fast flight brings us to Trinidad. This British colony was originally named by Christopher Columbus in honor of the Holy Trinity. The streets of Port of Spain are lined with bazaars in which many products of the Far East in ivory, jade, and brass can be found. The word exotic seems to fit Trinidad perfectly. The north shore of the island is mountainous with luxuriant jungle growth, sweet with the fragrance of spice trees. Many a pirate crew sailed, fought, and often lost their chests of gold in shipwreck and hurricane. On the rich central plain, sugarcane grows high and provides the island with one of its most important industries. On big plantations, the age-old ritual dances of torrid tempo can still be seen. Many are a mingling of ancient African and Oriental syncopation. like whirls are from the east, but the music is African. Fourteen hundred miles, or about four hours, to Jamaica. Kingston, the capital, is a typically British colonial city with all the savor of the old world. Famous for its gigantic trees and its beautiful garden, in which the display of colorful flowers is unexcelled. Crystal clear water of 
Montego Bay is a year-round swimmer's paradise. On the terrace, for a shilling or two, Jamaican jitterbugs give their all. Perhaps not quite as hot as Harlem, but give the kids a few years and they may make the big time. Antilles, playground of the Caribbean, with a charm both bold and exciting. Havana is a quaint mixture of ancient and modern. Fine boulevards lined with buildings built centuries ago. Drab stone fronts, behind which are quiet patios, rich in the traditions of Spain. The president's palace, and the beautiful capital. Narrow side streets, shadowy bazaars, sidewalk cafes, mysterious grilled windows, romance and gaiety. This is Havana. Imposing monuments. And most imposing of all is El Moro, hewn from the rocky cape which it crowns like an ancient male fist. Across the harbor, the Malacon, the famous seawall drive. A monument to the battleship Maine and the fashionable Hotel Nacional. And along spacious palm lined boulevards in Havana's residential section, one finds many beautiful homes in their luxurious tropical surroundings. From tea time to the wee small hours, life pulses and throbs in gay Havana, where the rumba and the make one forget that Main Street, USA, is only a few hours away. Thank you.